the uh, Credit for Life Fair, I think, is, uh, as I always tell my finance class, a, a good practice run before it counts. So you can make all your mistakes here. And then when in the real world, you say, oh, well, wait a second. If I do that, uh, then I'm going to have a problem with my budget. So it's really good practice uh, budgeting. It's really good practice to know what's out there in terms of health care, uh, even right down to the food you buy, uh, which is a huge expense that people never really think about. But uh, all those visits to Stop and Shop add up. Um, so I'm really psyched that we get a chance to do this, and uh, it's probably one of the most important things that we do, I think, for, for our students before they graduate. Um, so what are your goals going forward into this Credit for Life Fair today? I want to win. She wants to win. Is there a prize for the winner? I don't believe there is, but I want to win. Okay. Well, I hope you win. What are your goals um, moving into the Credit for Life Fair today? To have a ton of money at the end. To figure out whether or not I'm going to fail. Hi, I'm here with Sherry Hayes at the Credit in Lending, and she's going to tell us a little bit about our station. Well, we're really the bank today, so after everyone chooses a vehicle, we come over and tell them, uh, can we get, first of all, do you get a loan? Are you qualified? Based on the credit score everybody's been assigned. And we tell them a little bit about good things, good practices to build credit, because it's really important to stay with your whole life. So, sort of what we do. Caroline Howard, and she just did the uh, spin for a reality check. Um, could you tell us how that went? Um, not too well. I'm down 100 bucks already but um, I'm hoping to get it back, so I guess we'll see. Yes, it's, uh, it's great to be here. Um, nutrition, of course, is the foundation of all health. No matter what else you do, no matter how hard you exercise or how much rest you get, if you don't have a good diet, you can't be healthy. Health starts with nutrition, and that's what we're here for. There you go, thank you. I'm here with Shavar Shakespeare. Um, what career have you chosen? Uh, physical therapy. Nice. And how's the Credit for Life Fair going so far? Uh, it's pretty good. It's looking nice. Have you been spending a lot of money? Oh, yeah. I'm almost broke right now. Almost broke, guys. Well, I hope that it uh, turns up for you. Oh, yeah. Go big or go home. I'm here at the luxury station with Jim Kern. He's going to tell us a little bit about it. So what we're doing here today is just helping you guys understand and learn everything that you want, right? You want to go on vacation, you want to buy an iPhone, you want to buy a TV. Of course, we all want those things. But first thing out of high school, you're going to have to make some decisions. You know, you need a phone. Do you need to pay for cable or maybe you get Netflix? Do you go to a friend's house, you know, whose family may have a beach house or do you buy your own vacation to Costa Rica for a week? You know, so just helping you early on, budgeting your money, uh, some ideas that you don't get caught up in credit card debt you know, that you're not saving, that you're not saving for retirement. We want to get you into a position where you're taking it easy early on with some things that you want to have because you're finally getting a paycheck. Sounds good. Thank you. You're I'm here with Aiden Kotowski, who just bought a house at the Credit for Life Fair. Um, how'd that go? Could you tell us a little bit about it? Um, well, I got about a three-roommate uh, apartment. I'm not a very wealthy man at this point in my life, so I will need to get a little... Uh, Cheap housing for me, nothing luxury, but one day. What's your career? I'm an environmental lawyer. I'm here with Will at the Game of Reality Check, and he's going to tell us a little bit about his station. Well, the Game of Reality Check is all about things that happen in life when you least expect it. You know, some of it could be of your own making, or some of it just happens unexpectedly. For example, if you speed, you get a speeding ticket, you know what it costs, or you can inherit some money, you win a lottery or something like that. So that's have a good and positive side to the reality check. Sounds good, thank you. I actually won $1,000 during reality check and a free pin, and it lights up, so it's really good. Oh, I think I might be in debt, but I'm not too sure, but uh, we'll, we'll figure it out, I guess. I'm here at the clothing station at the Credit for Life Fair, and they're gonna tell us a little bit about their station. So I'm David, running the clothing booth, and we're just trying to help people realize what they'll be spending on their clothing uh, based on what career choice they have. And uh, it's been great. Students are doing a good job and I think really engaged with the process. So uh, thanks for letting us be a part of this. I think I did pretty well. I started off as a lawyer making 75000 a year, and I think I uh, handled my expenses pretty well. Well, there you go, folks. That's how it's done. Thank you, Isaiah. You're very welcome. Uh, so far, it's been pretty good. Um, just kind of seeing what's what in terms of my financial situation and what it would be. Just kind of like an estimate of that. So I've been doing that and it's been interesting. I'd have to say it went very smooth. Uh, I have an idea of what I want to do, 
how things are going to go, especially when it comes to college, my amount of free time, how hard I'm going to have to work, um, health insurance. Health insurance is a big thing. I'm a little afraid, but I think that comes with all uh, all big jumps. All, all <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and so what was your career throughout the hotel management? Nice. And is that what you want to do? Yeah. Nice. Good. Thank you, Luke. Thank you.